Insula helps us interpret our emotions. Imaging has shown that the right frontal insular cortex connects with an ability to empathize with the pain of others. Imaging also shows that it plays a role in the ability to feel one's own bodily organs, such as the heartbeat. It helps us with a greater self-awareness through connecting how our emotions are processed in the body. Another area of the brain that helps us connect with feelings all over the body is the somatosensory cortex of the parietal lobe. It contains a sensory map of all the areas of feeling over the body, such as the face, hands, and legs. If we're angry and afraid, then we will feel things like our jaw clenched or our palm sweating. Other bodily states that connect with our emotions might include knots in our stomach, a sense of lightness, or feeling heavy and off-center. Certain bodily states connect with certain emotional states. Feeling connective, feelings of gratitude, curiosity, warmth, goosebumps, or tears of wonder all can relate to awe. Clenched fists, tense muscles, fast breathing, and an elevated heart rate can all relate to rage. Unless we take time to understand how our emotions feel in our bodies, we'll never be able to appreciate the emotional experience of another person. If we're mindfully aware of our own body's sensations, then it will strengthen our insula. It will strengthen our empathy. Taking the time to slow down and observe our painful emotions helps us label them and work through them. It can also help us invite others to do the same for themselves. With greater bodily knowledge of our sensations working in us, we'll also have greater awareness of the riches working in us. We can better help other people name and celebrate how the fruit of the Spirit works in their body as well.